First thing we're going to start off with is some sculpt gel, and this comes in three different parts, A, B and C. We're going to mix up together a little bit of A and B, but it's very important when you're using this to wipe the spatula in between. You don't want to mix this product. And then with just a tiny amount of C, I'm going to mix that together, and C is what controls how thick it is and how quickly it dries. The more you have of C, the slower it takes to dry. So I'm going to start doing a cut that's going to go down from the nose all the way across the lips down to my chin. I had to wait about 15 minutes for this to dry and once it was dry I used a dark red colour. Now if you don't have one of the super colour palettes it doesn't matter. You can just use a dark red lipstick and it will have exactly the same effect. And I'm going to draw this down the middle of the cut and then dabble it a little bit along the centre of the lips. Then we're going to move on to some white foundation and I'm just going to dab this all over the skin. I'm going to bring it all the way into the hairline and bring it over the eyebrows and the eyelids as well. When you get close to the sculpt gel you're just going to dab it really lightly and get it as close as you can. Now moving on to a lighter red, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to lightly dabble it along the lips and then also on the nose. And on the nose where you would traditionally have a red clown nose we're going to be putting a little bit more of the red to make it look really sore and infected. With a black eyeshadow I'm going to be taking a blending brush and squinting really tightly I'm going to run the brush over the lid and the reason I'm squinting is it will leave a line when you open your eye and it will make it look really nice and grungy and messy. I'm also going to bring it down on the lower lid and create some flicks on the outer corner. Bring the colour in on the inner corner and try and cover the entire upper lid. Now create a little line down the centre of the cheek and smiling a little demonically you're going to bring it along the cheeks bring it around the bottom of the chin as well and now we're going to accentuate just a little bit the cheeks so draw a circle all the way around and then blend that out the forehead you want to frown and then trying to follow the natural line just draw a line at first and then with a blending brush blend that out we don't want a line we want it to be a shade so blend that out you can use your fingers or a brush also don't forget to draw a line on the upper lid as well. And now moving on to a red eyeshadow, we're just going to put this right underneath the lashes on the lower lid and bring it down just a little bit. And for the cheeks, we're not going to be using the brush, we're going to be using our fingers to make it look really messy and disgusting. And now going back to the upper lid, we're going to draw a little cross shape again. So draw along the eyes, create a flip in the outer corner as well, bring that colour down. And again, you don't have to be neat. Take a thicker brush, I'm going to be using a concealer brush and we're going to draw a line straight up and then mess it up. Finish off with some Vaseline or some lip gloss on the lower lid. A few contact lenses, a wig, and that's it. You're done.